In this tutorial, you will learn about two-factor authentication. As a result of rapid expansion of systems in the virtual space, a need for better forms has developed. Two-factor authentication refers to the method of authentication where the user has at least two out of three qualities of knowledge, what the user knows, possession, what the user has, and inheritance, who or what the user is, to be granted access to a system. Examples of such authentication are common in daily life scenarios. Anytime you swipe your card at the supermarket, you show that you are the person who has the funds. You might be asked for IDs exactly to establish that. You have the card that lets the cashier bill your transaction, and that you know the secret PIN associated to your card, or at least the amount of money left on it. Online, Google has implemented such a procedure to secure the access in their system. Let's see how it works. In a new browser window, go to www.google.com slash 2-S-T-E-P. Google has made a lot of effort to make the case clear on this new method. You can see why you need it, how it protects you, and how it works before trying it out. Here's the answer to our question. Google will ask you to have your phone available and send you text messages on it, so it would know that it's really you. Click on Get Started. Google asks you to set up your phone. Choose the extension of your country and type in your number. You can choose to receive an SMS message or a call. Your phone will now ring or receive an SMS, depending on your previous selection. Type in the six-digit verification code communicated to you by Google. If you trust your computer, check mark Trust This Computer. We couldn't do it. Google tries to extend the possession quality on the computer you are using now, so in case you won't have a phone with you, at least you would be using your computer. Last stage of the installation is to turn two-step verification on Click Confirm. Congratulations, you have just set up your two-factor authentication with Google. This was a HowTech.TV tutorial. Leave your comment below or contact us by email. Thanks for watching.